So how's it going WWE Crush Hour fans and welcome to Reign of Fire, a dragon mod for Morrowind. This is a mod that someone sent me and I checked it out and it's really really impressive. It adds a whole new quest to Morrowind where you fight dragons, then you can raise them near the end of it, you can ride dragons, it's brilliant. I've played it a little bit just to get used to it. We're going to jump in and I'm going to show you the mod, it's really really dope. We're going to get started with a character I have that's like level 9 but we have some decent stuff so we should be okay even though this mod is recommended for level 30. As as you can see right in front of me, you are under level 30. Do you want to start Reign of Fire anyway? I might as well. Sure, I might as well. We're going to start the Reign of Fire journey. Now, what we need to do is I believe we need to travel to Caldera to start the main quest. Uh, but a bit of an issue. I'm all the way up by Urshilaku, so I need to go all the way down. I'm going to use some divine intervention to get out of where I am. And then we're going to go to Caldera. Actually, I might go to Balmora, get a few potions. Okay, we're in Aldruin. Okay, just need to travel back to Balmora. And then from Balmora, we're going to walk up to Caldera. And then the mod will start. So yeah, we're going to get a bit prepared we're only level nine but we have some decent equipment so what i might do is i might get some extra potions in balmora and then we're gonna make our way up to caldera i think that's the plan i think that's the idea how you doing shirtless man standing outside the city do you have anything to add are you a yes, dreamer Atlanta. what do you want He's a dreamer. He really likes the Minecraft fella. <laughs> that's that's what his name stands for. He was a big fan. I've ruined this video and we barely even started. Hello. Take me down to the paradise city called Balmora. Why walk when you can ride? Well, I'm going to start walking now. Is that okay with you? Why walk when you can fly? Look at this fella. He's hovering above the air. Jesus, fair place. Yeah, maybe you should be the new cliff racer. I'll just jump on his back and ride him around. <laughs> that's not so off. Mickey D ruins Morrowind video 50 times before even starting the mud. All right. What we're going to do now is go to the potion shop that's just above here. I'm going to buy some exclusive restore health, some exclusive restore fatigues. And yeah, we're going to get started. You, my woman. Give me all your stuff. All right, that should be enough. Do you sell jellies too? Nah, I'm only joking. You can take all my salts and stuff. I'm keeping the muck because we like muck here. We're a muck positive channel. There we go. All right, now we're going to set sail. Set sail to Caldera. We're going to be walking. We're not going to set sail. We're not ships of the land. Isn't that just a care? Well, there's no cares in Marwan, but look. Hello. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. I like your army sergeant haircut and your Patara earring. I like that a lot. It's just a short trip up to Caldera and then we'll see the dragon attacking the town. This is really cool. This mod is really well done. I played the mod a little bit just so I know what we're doing and where we're going to be going to. So I'm not going in completely blind. So I'm not going to pretend I'm seeing this for the first time because I have seen it before. But it is really dope and I can't wait to show it off. Hello, hound. How are you? I can't even hit the hounds. There you go. If dragons are for level 30 and I can take out that kind of an enemy, I think we'll do just fine. I think we'll do just fine. Alright, so we're coming into Caldera now. Let's see if our dragon is going to spawn in and attack the town. Oh, the lightning is very foreboding. Oh, here we go. Oh, there's a cutscene and everything. I love this. Oh, this is great. That's a great introduction. It just drops us on the floor. There's the dragon. It's going to attack Caldera. Look at all the civilians. You don't care. I'm listening. There's a dragon on the loose. Oh, look at that. Fireballs and everything. Oh, you can kill it. You can attack him. Okay. Oh, this is dope. The dragon's just killing everyone. And I'm just going to stand here and watch. I'm not going to take part. Oh, there he goes. Off he flies. Going to find Donkey, I suppose. I guess it looks like the dragon from Shrek. An old man says, please come here. We have so much to talk about. He wants to tell me about Raid Shadow Legends. No, I'm just joking. Oh, that's a very high detail face. That actually looks well. What is it? That's a nice beard. I wish I had that beard in the main game. Anyway, how you doing, old man? Illwing. Redwood. We have no time for introductions now. Hurry. Come to Shank's Shovel. I forgot that's the name of the bar in Caldera. Or we can speak more privately. Troubled times loom ahead. Don't I know? Are you gonna run along? He's the guy who like defended the town from the dragon. He shot off the fireball and the dragon just flecked off. Hello. I love how fast you're moving. You're really going quick. Take your time. It's not like the whole place is in jeopardy from dragons. I don't know when this mod came out. If it was like before or after Skyrim. So keep that in mind if there's like any weird lore inconsistencies. How you doing Shank? Oh you're Shank. You're the man who owns the shovel. I'm assuming. Oh, that's custom music. That's cool. I like this. Hail Mickey D. My name is Illwing Redwood. I am one of the personal sorceresses of Uriel Septim. One of my tasks in the court is to read the signs of the stairs. The stairs, though they shine bright, have not been given good news. Good Huey Lewis and the news. They tell of a great power, hidden for so long, reawakening. A great danger is growing in Varenfell. I'm not speaking of Dagoth Ur or the gods of tribunal. I'm speaking about an older evil forgotten in these lands. You are speaking about the dragon that has appeared today, aren't you? 
it. <laughs> the music's getting all whimsical, I love it. Yes, but I'm not just speaking about one. There are others. There are myths of old that tells the story of the dragons of Varenfell. Legend has it the dragons died by the action of cliff racers. Nobody knows for sure if the cliff racers killed the dragons in a great war or seized all of their resources. It is no matter. The race of dragons has faded away and has been forgotten and turned into fairy tale. Then where do these creatures come from? You have to know that not all the dragons died or run away to the continent. The more powerful ones crept into the deep places of the world and slept for centuries. Now, as you have seen, they have awoken. You have to find why. Well, I'm too old for this. He's like lethal weapon fella. My magic is fading. I've scared the creature today, but nothing more. The spell I've used has lost its vigor and the dragon will attack again. That means we're fucked essentially if he attacks again. That is certain to me. Lies will be lost. Fire and death will rain from above. Is there anything I can do? Nah. You can do fake all. The dragons from here were very different from Tamrielic ones. They came here before the imperial occupation and they hated human races. The legend speaks about five elder dragons. I believe the dragon we saw today was one of the supreme five. You have to find their lairs and discover why they have broken their slumber. Try to get information out of them. It is important to understand the reason why they have appeared now. Once you have obtained the information, kill them. Alright, sounds easy enough for a level 9 character. So do you want me to look for them all around Verdenfeld? This task seems rather difficult and beyond my abilities, says Daener Vereen. <laughs> Try to use your mind, the dragons are very territorial. The one that has attacked Caldera is a red one. <laughs> a red one, is that right? I could see that. His red scales gleamed brightly in the sky today. His lair can't be very far because each dragon has a territory and will not go in the land of other dragons. As to the people, the guards usually have more information and don't follow them. It's too risky. This is the only thing I can do for you. Remember, the future of Verdenfeld lies upon your hands ask the people the guards usually have more information okay I suppose I have a moment. I believe I can ask you, dragons. There are happening strange things around here lately. Okay, like the dragon attack. Some people say that in the night they hear screams from the east. Speak with people, perhaps they know more. Okay, so north, south, east. Screams from the east. Hello, dragons. Did you see the dragon? Of course you did. I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. A sight such as that does not leave one's mind in a short time. I've heard stories lately about strange creatures attacking the merchants around Buckmoth Fort, but until now I never gave credit to those rumours. Isn't Buckmoth by like Aldrune? Okay, so we have to go to Buckmoth Fort. We have a lead. We have a lead. We're going to Buckmoth. I think the dragon can attack again. I believe so. I don't want the dragon killing all the civilians. Actually, if I wait around a bit, will you just attack again? I want to see if it'll happen. What is it, Jack? What do you see? It's a dragon! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it! I found it! <laughs> That's not the dragon. I'm only messing. I'm only joking. I'm gonna wait around a little bit because I believe the dragon does attack again. Fine day for it, nice weather. Why did you decide in all your life to live in Caldera for whatever reason? You could have picked any other town, you could have picked any other province, and you chose Caldera. I mean, it could be- Oh, there's a dragon, oops. <laughs> I was distracted by questioning your poor life choices. I'm gonna levitate up to you. Oh, you're glitching through a little bit. The model looks great, to be fair. Oh, look at that. We have a dragon. We have a proper dragon. Can I take you now? I'm the Nervereen, I think. Okay, so I can't actually hit you properly. Uh-oh. Not a good idea. I'm just gonna let you attack the town. Oh, all the guards are dead. Jesus, would you look at that? What a fight for the ages. This is brilliant. Why has barely anyone ever talked about this mod? This is the coolest thing. This is one of my favorite Marwin mods now. Yeah, I can barely attack you in this guy. Oh, I've fallen down. Great. Well... I'm just gonna load and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna charge straight for Aldrun. I believe the dragon will be easier to fight in their actual lair, so uh, don't worry. I, I think we can still take them on. At least I'm gonna think we can anyway. At least I'm gonna stay positive that we can anyway. So we have to go to Buckmoth. And then they were saying they could hear screams from the east. So I'm guessing when we go to Buckmoth, it'll be a little bit east of there. And that's where we'll find the creature's lair. I mean, I do have the staff Shea Gorath. Well, the staff I got from Shea Gorath, Bitter Mercy, to take on the dragon. So look, we can try that and see if it's any good. I think that should work well. Okay, here we are in the fort. Oh, there's a nice pack war. I like pack wars. Why'd you put a harness on him? He's not gonna bite you. He's only friendly. They do have huge teeth to be fair, so they're probably just being safe. He just looks like every single spore creature I've ever made. Hello, Elmer. I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. Dragons. What? You know about these creatures too? You were gonna keep this a secret, Elmer? Not very cool. That beast tried to kill me. I was walking near the ruins to the east and then I saw him. He came out of the sky, his great wings shook the air and his teeth looked like giant swords. I thought I was done for. I took off and started running. My life was spared, however, because the beast took one of my guards instead. Oh no, we have a guar death. Just picked him up and whisked him away. I continued running out of fear and to report what I saw. Now the Imperials refuse to go out and kill that dragon. They give some excuse about more time and troops or something to that extent. I am just a lonely merchant. I have little power to bargain with the Imperials or or attempt to find this dragon myself. If you're looking for him, I wish you luck with that filthy brute and please 
Take a look to my goods. Maybe I have bargain prices in books. All right, you, you have some books. You have some salt rice and wick wheat. Wick wheat can restore health, but I don't think I have anything else that combines to restore health. Okay. I spoke with a merchant who was attacked by the red dragon. He says he was able to escape because the dragon took one of his guars instead of him. The attack was near the ruins to the east of Buckmoth Fort. It wasn't red like the name of the dragon in Spyro, a hero's tale. I don't know why I brought that game up, but I just thought I would because there was a dragon in it called red and that's immediately where my mind went to. So the attack was in the ruins were well, near the ruins outside the legion forest so i'm guessing it's these ruins right here now i since i have played this mod a little bit i've played up to this point so i do know around where the lair is just so we can find it pretty quickly and move along so i believe oh oh you you can be tough look i know i have no fatigue but uh i don't care down you go hello clan fear is that how you pronounce your name i never knew how to pronounce your names right oh, there's cliff racers too the whole gang is here great there we go. Can I get some healing? There we are. Not too bad now. I'm over encumbered great. Can I eat the salts for, for sustenance? I'll eat a heart. Why not? Eat the heart. Why is my speed damaged? Oh, my boots of blinding speed are broken. And for fuck's sake, one second. Once I need my boots of blinding speed. I need them a lot. Be great if I could actually cast my resist magic a spell. That'd be fantastic. Oh, come on. I've never failed it this many times. Come on. There we go. Boots of speed. And there we are. I can actually start moving fast again. Now, I believe around here we should be able to find... Oh, there it is. The poor old guar leg. It's just the leg of the guar left behind. I'll go away, you hound. Ain't nothing but a and hound dog thing. It's just the leg of the guar left behind by the dragon. That's so sad. I feel bad for the guar. We like guars here. We're a guar positive channel. Now, I believe what we have to do is go around. There's a part of the ruin up above. I believe, yeah, I believe it's here, right? Yes, it's here. And we go through this ruin here and new to not be... These shrine names, I just imagine the employees at Bethesda were like, we need another tomb name and they just slap the keyboard and there they go they have a tomb name it's so random i love it though it's great are you mayrun's dagon you're not mayrun's dagon are you it's one of the tall fellows with the sword it's one of him it, the name's completely escaping me okay now i believe the lair is down around through here tomorrow music blaring as we go to fight this dragon this could be a tough fight this could be a tough one i haven't like defeated the dragon yet at all so uh i just got as far as this first dragon fight and i just left it here because i want to keep the dragon fight as a good first impressions to see how we'll do so we just come across the lair at heku's lair is that the one do you wish to crawl through this space probably not but i'm gonna do it anyway oh here we are i can't move since we're in like a cutscene. listen to this music look at this lair this is dope well, that's cool. At least in this enclosed space, he can't like fly away, so we should be able to defeat him. What do we have here? Who are you, little mortal? Mortal, he calls me. If only he knew who I was. I'm pretty cool. You either have to be very brave or very foolish to come in here. I'm guessing the latter. I'm a Heku, the Lord of, it just sounds like bless you, uh, the Lord of fire and sky. And here in my lair, you will find your death. Wait, evil creature, what do you want? Why have you and your brothers awakened? Ha ha ha, so you are looking for answers? Well, you will not find any answers here. I will enjoy tasting human flesh once more. Now die. Great, I'm going to save because we might die here a few times. Let's see how we do. Can I do good damage? Not really. Oh, slowly but surely. Very slowly but surely. Oh, I can level up. That's fantastic. I would like to level up before I fought him. Doing okay damage. Okay, that's a lot of damage. Doing good damage to me, the bastard dragon. Okay, I can take him down. I can do good damage. Oh, I knocked him over. What a battle for the ages, huh? Oh, this is great. I like this though. <coughs> Maybe I should have been level 30 while doing this. Who knows? Give me some fatigue too. Why not? I have no strength enhancing drugs or alcohol. So we're just going to have to beast this ourselves. We should be able to do it. We're doing okay damage. Taking a bit. He has a lot of health points. But we, we should be like really strong when fighting him to be fair. Health halfway down. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. We can kill our first dragon. We can try anyway. I keep knocking him down. I'm doing well with my spear. I'm just poking him in the neck. It probably tickles. It's probably a nice sensation. <coughs> anyway, where's Donkey? Isn't the dragon from Shrek purple? I'm probably getting that wrong. I think it is. It's either purple or red. I can't remember. The important things in life and I don't remember them, you know? Maybe it just means I need to watch Shrek. Okay, slowly but surely. We're knocking him over. We're knocking him over. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. 
Not too bad so far, only level 9. The thing about Morrowind is that if you have like really powerful items, the level almost doesn't matter. Well, it helps for like, you know, having more health points and all that, but you can buff your health, you can fortify your health, you can have beast items like the Spear of Shagorath and Fortify Agility and Strength Gauntlets and all that guff, so you know. But that's only for like veteran Marwin players who know where like all the good items are, I suppose. Oh, did you break my boots again? You broke my boots at blind and speed. Anyway, kill the dragon. Oh, it's hard. It's hard is worth a lot when you take the dragon's hair to corp vanishes. Okay, do I go back to the old man? I defeated Akeku, the master red dragon, but he didn't give me any answers. I must go and speak with Elwing back in Caldera. Okay, so this is like a really long main questing. Oh, look at all the gold. This is a lot of gold. This is a ton of gold. Look at all this. Oh, he has so much treasure. That's really satisfying. I like that a lot. <laughs> There's like so much here. It's satisfying though. And here's all the floating rubies and emeralds. Great. Emerald is a great Tim Lizzy song. Anyway. There, I got all your treasure. Here's the chest. Oh, and there's more diamonds and emeralds in here. Great. I'll take them all. Why not? I'll take all the Pokemon, rubies, and emeralds I can get. Da -da -dum -dum -dum. Resting here is illegal. Who's gonna bust me? The dragon? It's illegal to rest in the dragon's lair. All right. Fair. I eat magicka. For my boots of blind and speed. Okay, we can level up four endurance. Great. Agility, strength. Oh, look at all that. Very cool. Okay, so I think what we'll do is we'll just turn in this quest with the old man and see what he has to say. That was a cool fight though, I like that, that was really well done. It's weird seeing a straight up dragon just around in Morrowind. It's very strange. Okay, now we just travel back to Caldera. Caldera is very close to Aldrun. You forget how close here. I'm gonna fly even though I can't really see in all this fog, but look, it's just the Morrowind way, you just have to put up with it. I'm one with the cliff racers now, how are you doing? Down you go. Here's Caldera, it's just really close. I barely took five steps out of there. The thing with Marwyn is that if you were playing it in the old days, the fog that would be like two feet ahead of you, it may- oh oh, I, I couldn't switch my item quick enough. The fog would make the game seem a lot bigger than it is. I mean the game's still a big enough size, but you can- gotcha. If you have view distance on, you can see Sadanin from Vivek. Oh, why are you chasing after me? Are you okay, buddy? What? I killed the red dragon. Excuse me. You're dead. I'm just gonna go inside. Uh, screw this. Get me to Shanks shovel. I need a point to Shanks muck brew. I don't know. It's made with real muck. Good to see you. You have a question. I killed your dragon. You defeated the red dragon? Yeah, I killed him. His name is Akeku, but alas, you didn't give me any answers. You said Akeku, so I'm not mistaken in this. Hmm. It is true then. The five elder dragons of Morrowind didn't die and now they have awoken. The strangest thing is that I have heard reports of an attack on Aldrun by a red dragon at the very same time that Caldera was attacked. Oh, so there's more red dragons of the kind. I see. Because the dragon's just like attacking town right now. Not just Akeku, the situation is far worse than I would have imagined. It really is just like Skyrim. There is two possibilities. The first one is that many other dragons have been in hiding for so long, not just the elder ones of which we have spoke. The second possibility, which scares me to even think about it, is that they have stared to breathe. Oh great. This option is very improbable and very frightening too. A dragon egg takes years to mature and a baby dragon takes many more years to grow up. I think I need time to think about all this. I do too after eating this. Yes, I almost forgot a pardon. My mind has been cloudy of late. There are rumors of people seeing a green dragon in the south. If he's the elder one, his name is Dakorum. That's a cool dragon name, Dakorum. The legend tells that he was very dangerous, far stronger and fiercer than the red one, which you have already defeated. Be careful. Go to Balmora, speak with the people there and try to find his lair. And don't forget to try and get answers from him. All right. I suppose I have a moment. You'd want to have a moment. You really don't have the like head for a, a Breton. I keep imagining you as like an Imperial, but you have like a Breton voice. Whatever. Anyway, is the dragon still here? Well, you're still running. I think that's the end of my showcase for the Morrowind Dragon mod. I would implore you to try it out yourself because it is really quality. There's plenty more dragons to fight. There's the dragon. There's a main quest that you can go through. I believe at the end of the main quest, you can actually raise your own dragons. You just don't even care. Maybe you are with the dragons. What is it, traveler? She's one of them. What, do you what did I say? I don't care. I'm not resisting arrest. There's more things to worry about. I'm a dragon hunter looking for love on these lonely streets. Again. Okay. You're letting the dragon get away. Stop. Stop. Anyway, that's the end of the dragon mod. Be sure to check it out yourselves and cheers for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.